don't, I don't, I don't, I don't make them lose. What up, everybody? This is Spitballin' episode number three and four in yeah. one. So, All this right. is a, <laughs> a redo and a new one. We have Mpo. And uh, well, the, very famous, the very famous, the very famous, and <laughs> we have uh, the very famous DXP. Yes, and this is yes. DXP's do-over because I fucked up and didn't record the audio. <laughs> <laughs> there were some good questions there too. Much. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was a good I, interview. If I remember, humans, those humans, <laughs> humans, humans, fucking humans. And, and it was, it was total human error this time. So. But uh, to start off this episode, uh, we're going to start with Umpo. So let's learn a little bit about you. Yep. Tell my viewers and uh, listeners, because this is going to be on iTunes. Tell, tell about me? Yeah, let's, uh, let's learn about Learn you. about me. I was born of two South African parents. That escaped apartheid, by the way. That escaped apartheid riddle South Africa to come to Canada, Toronto, and Ontario, Canada in 79. Um, my mother is from Alexandra Township, Johannesburg. Don't know exactly where my father's from, from Durban, South Africa, but that is where he's from. Um, what else is good? Um, I've always wanted to be an actor. Always wanted to be one. And uh, hopefully that works out soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not, that's not technically. <laughs> Hopefully that works out. Um, no, I, um, I did one or two things, and and Volley Skies is, is something that, that we're doing now. And that that has kind of really opened up a lot of stuff. That actually, actually, I'm surprised June Bug didn't open up a lot more doors. June, it, I'm, you know, the June Bug stuff. That's like big community more so it feels like sometimes like one specific community that, that always hails me up for that mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah by far the, the one thing I get hit up for the most is that by far yeah like, by far like but but what gets annoying with that is you know you have brothers that come up to me and everybody <laughs> just just talks about me shooting the cop like I'm talking about like uh, everybody <laughs> cause I mean, but yo yo June Bug are you that? are you that June Bug? oh my god you shoot the bug fuck her so it's always like that you know um <laughs> it gets like a bit oh I, just black guys come up to me and ask me about that so it also worries me about my community <laughs> I'm proud of that message message um <laughs> wow but like, you know what you know it's it's a double edged sword because Jim Sheridan, <clears throat> someone who's like the complete opposite of urban anything. Yeah. You understand? Like he's not known for urban anything. It's Daniel Day Lewis films. You know, he, he got Daniel Day Lewis an Oscar. You know, My Left Foot directed that. He directed, um, as far as I know, in the name of the Father, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Um, in '92 or something like that. '92 <coughs> or something like that. Daniel Day Lewis. So, so they have an interesting relationship. And he's, no, you know, um, in America as well. He was nominated as a director, you know, Academy Award for that. So that's big to me. That's a bi uh, that resonates with me as much as Fifty and you know, and you know, this and rap, G Unit and rap and all that type stuff at the time. Jim Sheridan was big for me. Auditioning for him and him liking me and him respecting me. What was that like? It, it was big. I remember I did an audition for him. And you know he's short, you know Irishman, you know about sixty <laughs> something at the time. You know he's no bullshit though. You know the, the but you know sh filming took like longer and it was this much over budget because you know there was no real structure to the way he would film. So I auditioned for him and <clears throat> did a couple callbacks and came in this one time and he's sitting there he's like, "Is that for here?" He said, you're a good fucking actor. He's like, you're a good fucking actor. He said, I'm going to give you a fucking part. I just don't know which fucking one. He said it just like that. I'm like... That was so good. That was an awesome actor. He was very good. But he said it just like that. And and that's that that goes back to what I was saying about, you know, the things that kind of stick with me. You know, a director of that caliber, 
who's directed an actor of the caliber of a Daniel Day Lewis multiple times. Yeah. Not even just him. Yeah. You know, Samantha yeah. Morton yeah. is in, in America. That's an act an actress I, I respect very much. These are like serious actors. Yeah. Here. Like thespians. Like they don't play yeah. method actors. You know, you can't even talk to these type of people. Yeah. That's kind of weird, but they're very good at what they do. You know, and they set a standard in my opinion. Oh yeah. yeah. So like Daniel Day Lewis isn't he? You know, he's what I mean? doing Abraham Lincoln. Let me tell you something. Watch him get an Oscar for that. Oh yeah. I, I, honestly, because look, all he does is know how to prepare for things. It's just he knows how to accurately depict whatever it is that he's doing. That's what he's yeah, very good at. Yeah. There will be blood. Is if 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 you're an actor and, and if you can accurately depict, if it matters enough, you know, some people are paid very well and they don't try hard enough. A lot of people are paid very well and don't try hard enough. Not some people, a lot of actors. <laughs> a lot of people are starting to get lazy now. That There's they got a money. crap load of lazy actors in Hollywood. And it's not even just lazy because of the craft of the art. It's 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 something that really challenged them. You That's know, what they need. And Daniel always does something like that. Yeah. A lot of actors don't do that. And a lot of them have the studios on their backs. You know, and if you see them a lot, it's because they participate in what the studio asks them to do. If you see them regularly, you look at a Daniel Day Lewis, you don't see him regularly. It's because he don't fuck with the studio. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm not playing right now. It's because he doesn't cater to them. He's not on the phone with Weinstein all the time. Yo, what the fuck? What's up, guys? What's up? No, no. None of that bullshit. It's very much about the art with him, and it's very much about, okay, this matters and this doesn't. Yeah. There's only one, two mainstream actors that can tiptoe being a movie star and still be respected actors at the same time. Oh, Johnny yeah. Depp is really the guy, and then whoever you want to talk about after. But then he's starting to slip now, too. No, no, not Johnny. No, no. no. Uh, the choices of films uh, yes. have okay. never been arguably great. <laughs> no, no, okay. That's but I'm right. talking okay. about the, the actor, the, the, the ability, yeah, yeah. the, the, the performances. Yeah. He takes yeah. stuff that I question, and you're like, whoa, okay, that's what it would look like if you were going to do it properly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like Alice do you understand? Like not what I would love to see necessarily. <laughs> no, no, yeah. But no. but he really knows how to take nothing and make like a whole lot of something. You know, and, and, and to me he sets a standard. The risk taken, the choices, not many actors dare choose the amount of roles, choose the amount of you know, the variety of, of roles that he does. Not many do that. I think uh, Fear and Loathing was his... his oh, scissor Hands, Benny and June. There's a, there's an area in the 90s that. there. That's a good one. But there's that an area there in the 90s where he did a lot of, you know, really cool films. The yeah. films were good. The uh, no, I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think oh, the films yeah. were good. Yeah. 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 From Scissor yeah. Hands yeah. to, yeah. like, there, to yeah. maybe yeah. Brasco. Yeah, was like consistent from 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 Scissor Hands to like Brasco, I think was consistent, and then maybe it tailed off a bit there, and then Blow, he came back with yeah, Blow. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? And I just got my girl to watch Split. that for the first time <laughs> you like last it? month. She loved that. It's yeah. a great How can you not? I really don't like it. Gotta be cruising that thing. Man. No, she hasn't been. I really want to slap her. What, what do you think about Savages? <laughs> so annoying. Um, how how she's going to play in Savages? You know what? No, no, no disrespect to Taylor Kitsch, but I don't know uh, if, that, if that guy should be getting all the opportunities that he's getting. I understand. Yeah, I don't know. No yeah, disrespect yeah. to the kid. But I don't know if he's, he's fit to handle, you know, carrying films. That's, a bit, that's tough. You yeah. know, it's it's really tough. It's very very tough to carry films, and then you got to go and you got to work out for six months, and then you got to go and then this and then press junkets for three months, and then you you know it, it gets very rigorous, and then you got to show up at all these you know appearances, and then you got to be a good actor, and then you got to deliver in the film. I just don't know if the 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 ability matches the output of the effort level maybe because I tell you what if he wasn't trying he wouldn't be there oh yeah you understand yeah. so if you didn't try hard you're not being there so I know that but the ability may not match up with that so so just explain it to you how it kind of works sometimes you, you know how it works I just don't that's just my question maybe him you know if you just look at the opportunities that he's getting just in a row yeah. and it's all set up so you know it's all set up 
okay, how can we push this kid? It's not it's not the fans want Taylor Kitsch to pop. Are you serious? No, it's Never it's ever it's in it's life. If the industry is like, okay, we need a new young guy. Who's the good guy? Who's the guy? Who's the guy? Who's the guy? Ah, Taylor Kitsch coming off this show. He's popular on the show. Ah, the, okay, let's make him pop. All right, boom, John Carter. All right, bombed. Yeah. You put a nobody yeah. in a two hundred million dollar movie it's expecting to make two hundred million dollars? No. Come on, stop this. The guy at Disney had to resign because of that F up. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But you're putting that on Taylor Kitsch. Ooh. You shouldn't even have given him the opportunity no, in the first fucking no, no, place. He shouldn't have been in that movie. I would have you throw Colin Farrell in that movie, I'm cool with that. My, 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 point is, my point is, the same type of look, my point is the same type of look, or a look, but you need a better actor, you just need a better actor in that spot. Just like a little better. A, a bigger little name bit. and a better actor. And, and, and you know? technically, it didn't even have to be an action star or anything like but that. But this is what I'm saying. And then, and then John Carter, and I, I'm going to watch that when I get home actually with my big old mouth, because I, I, I've had it on my computer and I really want to see it. Um, what else? And then this battleship thing. I don't know if they marketed that properly. That you know, I don't know if they marketed they that properly. They should have marketed it more around Rihanna. Because then they would have got See, I didn't even know she, <laughs> she, she, nobody this even knew she was in the movie. This is coming right now. I'm not... <laughs> I, it's fun, it's fun. I, I, was just, I was just talking the other day about people I've lost roles to, right? You, you, you're going to lose Certain. 75 to 80% yeah. percent of the stuff you've ever read for. You've mm -hmm. ever read wow, for really? So this is in 14 years. 15 years now, I could probably say 75, 70, I'd say, I'd say I'm a 30%, you know, success rate. I think I'm like Tiger. I'm like Tiger Woods. Tiger, like 30% win, win ratio, 73 wins, you know, like 30%, you know. But honestly, honestly, I thought about it the other day. Last maybe four or five years. Brandon T. Jackson, three films. So the Big Mama, three. <laughs> Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and then Tropic Thunder, right? All yeah. Brandon T. Jackson. Yeah. And, and salute Brandon T. Jackson. Yeah. No disrespect to yeah. Brandon T. Jackson. You understand what I'm saying? So just, just, yeah, to, just to really put it down to what I'm saying. Nobody disrespecting anybody. I really salute, especially a brother out there doing it. So, and then who else? Who else was there? Ah, Neo. That's the one I kind of laugh about a little bit. That was a, Luke uh, Neil Battle was Los Battle of Los Angeles and then Red Tails. Yeah, yeah, that was a new one that just came out. <laughs> I was laughing about that one for a little bit. Did, did, I, was just, I was just did laughing. Did he even do anything? Right? You, right? you know what? Who am I to judge that? Yeah, well, who, who am I to judge that? I'm just talking about you won't see me taking records from him. <laughs> did I not explain that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I, I, I explain that right? I got it. I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just. I don't know. <laughs> Forget all that. Um, uh, who, and who's the other one? Who's the other one? I can't even remember. Um, you know, you know, it's one, one that I actually want to speak on. Cosmopolis, I read for it, and Jay Baruchel got the got the part that I read for it. I was actually really honored to have kind of been in the mix with Jay. You know, I was very honored to have been in the mix with him. Got like a few callbacks for that. And at the end of the day, I didn't really see, there wasn't any too many difficulties in understanding why he probably would have got it. You understand? But it, I thought it was cool that two very different looks, two very different, mm. could have even be considered equally. Well, that's equally. And that's what I liked about it. That, you know, that's... Much you respect know? to yeah. you. Well, you really, and Nike, really right? to him. Like, really to him as well because, and he reps Canada very well. And he reps the, the country very well. And, you know, he, he attends ACTRA conferences. You know, and he's on the, the, the council. Mm -hmm. You know, and he shows up. You know, and he's there. He supports it. You know, he's the same kid. You know, you can talk to him. Salute that guy. You know, so that that's one that I actually really like. I like just being in the mix for that. That was cool. It's too bad you didn't get it because I was working on Alphas. Yeah. At the same time, like that's Cosmopolis was shooting next that's door. That's a very I interesting story it. line. Very different, but that's something I definitely would have liked to have done. Yeah. Just, just how different it is. I always get lucky to be part of very 
you know, out of the box type stories yeah, yeah. And, and films and stuff, and get lucky like that in the roles. Well, you don't want to be, so be cool. thrown into like a stereotype, for this never, or, or get uh, just labeled. Well, no. this is the type of acting this guy does. So these are the only type of movies he's going to apply yeah. for. And then you'll end up like Jim Carrey, where you wow. want to do a serious role. Me too. 10, 20 years down the road. I hear you. Completely. I, I, be successful. I, I, I hear you. Fuck up. But completely. Darn it. That's some fun career times. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He had Lord. great, but now just imagine showing up, up, up for work. Jim Carrey's un unbelievable. Actually. Just imagine yeah, showing up for work. Old just old imagine old. showing up for work. Ace Ventura, yeah. liar, liar. Oh yeah, that guy. all those movies. Wow. But then try showing up to the set of Mr. Popper's Penguins, and you're gonna have and be like, uh, what the <laughs> fuck just happened? Where is <laughs> so the yes man Yes Man movie? I. You know what? That was. Okay, I gave that maybe like a five out of ten. It really? Was, it, it 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 doesn't. It makes you laugh, that good, and huh? chuckle, but it, it 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 wasn't up to the. I think the last movie that he did where it like I was really like taken back by Jim Carrey is uh, the one with the the, the whole dream. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream. Where he he's he's oh, trying to go back. Number twenty three. No, 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 no. That's where he writes the book, and it's he's like a schizo. Uh, His wife like set him up in that spotlight. Spot, spotless minds. Yes. Yes. Sun, eternal sunshine. sunshine yeah. Eternal sunshine of the eternal spotless sun. mind. Yeah. And that blew me away. And that's and a that, serious movie. I was movie. just like, wow. Kate Winslet. Jim I like a Carrey big crush on Kate Winslet. <laughs> I watched like I watched like a bunch of her stuff, but I watched Contagion the other day. And that was really, that was. Ugh. I I I liked. I really liked the what was Bob's going on in that. Yeah, it's a good I story. I really like what was going on. I gotta start watching more movies. So I'm gonna stop working on the ones. <laughs> <laughs> the brunette, though, the brunette that that came up with the the yeah. cure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I really dig her. Spoiler, I think she's a serious, right, right. really, really good actress. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> movie. Been, been, been out years. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, you'll be alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch the thing. You know. <laughs> all right. Yeah. But no, good. Uh, Jude Law really stuck out to me in that movie. Really good. He's really. Well, solid. there's a lot of big names in a that. A lot movie. of big names. Like Matt Damon. And <clears throat> Matt Damon too. Dude, Sana in a Sana in a more support and more actor supporting lesser role, but she's still you know Sana Lathan, still very visible in that. Fishburne. He is by Fish, far. Fish was good in that. He did the sleaze ball well in that. Yeah. You know very well. Yeah, it, it, it's just a one of my work. favorite like uh, African American actors. Yeah. He, like when he came, when he is the Matrix good. came out mm. and Morpheus, dude, I was just like he has like that, that James Earl kind of um, the voice, yeah, the know, James Earl Jones, Jones voice. I, I, was, I was starstruck when I saw him. I saw him on the Colony. They were, oh, they were really? Not here, and I saw him. And I was just oh, I was loved him. to me, Lawrence. I don't get starstruck too much, but I have so when I saw him, I was yeah. So I could imagine. Sure. I could imagine. Yeah. But it's funny, actors for me. Now it's it's I have the utmost respect for so many black actors. It's just because it's tough. Well, it's very it? tough, and I really I really look at the industry very differently now from a perspective of, you know, it's it's look, I, 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 I'm 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 very, I'm a very um. Let's see, I was raised very well, you know, Canada, fortunately. You know the the multicultural mm -hmm. nature of the, of the country, especially this city. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially this city. Yeah, I have such a profound respect for for all all races outside of my own. You know, but oh, still yeah. a great patriotism towards my my own people. Well, that's what you I know. You know what I mean? Canada. Like I, I I'm Sicilian and Irish. Yeah. And when World Cup time comes around. Mm -hmm. I have never been more patriotic. <laughs> <laughs> That's life. Canada. Most, most people who are Canadian wouldn't know about that. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'll, give a day, I'll give a day on World Cup. Unless you're though. European, I don't care if in the States they still don't read. Really yeah, no. You're no, European, America. Canadian, South American, you get it. Yeah, yeah. You get it. Yeah. You get the World Cup thing. It makes it. You <laughs> it resonate. But you get local. That's you get why local. they tried to come out with the MLS for America, and they're trying to make it big. But I, I just don't Beckham, think. Fifty million a season. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Jesus <laughs> Lord, but, uh, you know what? He, he seemed like a real nice guy, though. He seemed. He doesn't seem he like, a dick. like a nice his guy. His teammates like him. His teammates like him. He barely played. 
They paid fifty million dollars. Yeah. It's a joke. And then, and then what did they do? They sold them to yeah. Whoever bored him, AC Milan bored him. No, no, well, that's what he was actually doing. Wow. He was spotlighting on the side while he was playing wow. for LA Galaxy with Real Madrid. <laughs> spotlighted. So, that he was when women do that, they're called hoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great world we live in. Uh, back up down for fifty million dollars. He's a motherfucking star. He's a brand, eh? He's a yeah, brand. But then he ended up injuring himself, himself over there. there. He injured himself on the play, playing for Real Madrid, and then he tried to play for LA Galaxy, and he was shit. And then and that's why they won. Didn't they win? Yeah, but they won because of the rest of the players, not because of him. Well, I tell you what, it looked real good for him on the team, and that fifty million dollars gets covered. I tell you what, that shit gets covered on the back end. <laughs> I don't even. You're know like the you know, owners of the LA Galaxy, like. You won the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We no, I love you. Yeah, yeah, look at me. I got that. You want to see a crazy soccer game for the L MLS? Go to a, a Toronto FC game. An FC game I heard, man. I heard that's just a beer fest. I heard it's just like wild. beer party number one. Mm. Just well, drinking. The fans, are so, the fans are so crazy that when you actually, life, actually you watch the game on TV, the camera is shaking from the people on the really, stands. Really, That's really. how hyped the people really. get it for the team. Like, no. I, I, I don't watch MLS that often, but if the game's on, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll scan through. I'll, I'll watch it for a bit. But then you you, you get nauseous from the shaking <laughs> from the stands, just going stomping with their feet. I, I'm an admitted Argo watcher. Oh no, I love the Argos. I'm an uh, uh, my Argo watcher. I'm, I'm happy with Ray having Ray out here. Ricky Ray has been. Oh, my my mom's ex used to play for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. You know Gene Mack? You know Gene Mack is? He's always on off the record real loud. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gene Mack's like, he's a, obviously he's an actor now, but he used to play for the Argos. And he just so happens to be a very good friend of mine who I grew up with. Dad, Kale Richardson. Oh, nice. So it's just, I have this like ridiculous amount of degrees of separation with this guy. It's very crazy. <laughs> Obviously, like, his son and I grew up, and then, you know, we've done, like, four films together, mm -hmm. and he played my father in an episode of Doc, mm -hmm. a show with Billy Ray Cyrus that they did in Toronto, you know that? So that was yeah. trippy, him playing my dad. And, <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, he played for the Argos, and then I know, like, Michael Shea and all this stuff, and I love Argos. That was just trippy having all these connections to this guy and I'm loud just like him. Mm. <laughs> so we're like so connected, it's just hilarious. Gee, but he's like the worst worst dad in the world. <laughs> worst dad ever. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> so, oh, how much did you end up even getting into acting? Acting it's it's a weird it's a weird story um I had these friends of the family that are in the industry, um, people people we used to go have dinner with, you know, like once a week, like every Sunday or whatever. Um, their children were doing commercials, their daughter and their son, and their mother was on ENG at the time. This is, uh, I think she was on there probably the whole run. <clears throat> so my mom would always ask her, you know, to hook me up with an agent, you know, hook me up with acting classes, whatever. And you know, they kind of would never oblige, you know. I'm not going to say it negatively say no, but they wouldn't do it. Yeah. So, you know, there's like years pass, you know, probably five, six, seven years pass, and I ended up getting the same agent as their mother yeah. by myself. Not really by myself. I was with the Big Brothers actually a few years after that, and the lady that ran the Big Brothers was very close to my mother. I knew that I wanted to kind of get in the game. <clears throat> so basically she got me into this after four kind of acting class situation at the Avenue Road Art School, Spadina and Avenue Road. And I was taking a class with this guy named David Eisner, very legendary Canadian actor in my opinion. Yeah. Um, before I know it, I was helping yeah, Dave, yeah. you know, teach the improv sections of the class. Before I knew it, it was weird. And I was 14 doing this. And it was just fun. It was kind of just after school passing time type of thing. But I always wanted to do it. And then one day we go to meet this agent, this guy Larry Goldhart with the characters. 
And I don't know any better. I just I just think we're gonna go meet agent, you know, it's I'll meet a guy and possibly it could work or whatever. So we go and meet the guy and then you know, he tells me how he usually auditions people and he's not gonna audition me. He still had no idea what that meant at the time. And then years later I told him, you know, ten fifteen years later now, with the same agent. And it's the same agent as the mother. <laughs> of the friends of the family who I used to go and ask to hook me up, but they never would. That's kind of how life goes. Yeah. Characters are well, very big. And let's be and let's be and let's be really yeah. fair right now. Not to not to yeah. talk bad about these people. You know, it's one of those things. You could be upset. You could be whatever. Look at me now. Or it could drive whatever. you. Whatever. You know, it could drive you. Whatever. But it's funny. I had a film that premiered at the Real World Film Festival back in April. Both the mother and the father showed up to the screen. Wow. And I didn't ask them to come. I didn't ask them to come. They showed up. So yeah. I tell you what, I thought that was class. I thought that was class. Oh, for sure. I that's, that's that's that shows. That's what I, saw, I saw you there. And I gave him a big hug, you know, and I hung out with him afterwards and we talked and, and, and we really we had a good time, you know, and, and, and I think that was very positive. And I, I was very happy that I could look at it in that, in that way and not yeah. let very menial emotions get in the way of common sense mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know just being happy exactly yeah, and right. just being happy yeah. just you know being happy the right things that was right yeah. you know that's just you just salted up a good thing <laughs> to, to you know what I mean so I that, that I thought that was that's a very good moment I enjoyed that mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. full absolutely. circle it's kind of like a full circle yeah absolutely how did yeah. you two go about meeting this guy, um, we we were yeah. doing we were doing a short film, yeah, um, for a friend of mine, Peter Simovic, who mm -hmm. he actually finally finished the two short films that we had done at the time. He was in Toronto Film School with uh, with you, I think. Right? Yeah. You guys were in there, and then yeah. you guys connected because of that, and then I came in to do the film, and we all ended up doing the movie. Driz was there too, mm -hmm. big party. The film was fun. We had fun those couple of days, yeah. man. Yeah, Peter's a great, yeah, Peter's very great. great. Yeah, yeah. Speak, I, mean, I just want, I, you know, I'm, I want to see the yes. movie though. I want to see the movie. You though. know what? We saw the two of them. Um, it's, it came I out. Gotta, I gotta talk. I gotta talk to Peter about that. But yeah, I gotta. See, I want to see. Submitted in the TIFF. Okay. Yeah. yeah so there you go. I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, you never know. Oh it's, yeah. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to get it. But I mean. They are short films, so you're not going up against any super feature or anybody, you know, so that could lessen, you know, the difficulties. In, 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 look in, at the story, though. I mean, you know, it's you gotta it. Cameron Bailey, if Cameron Bailey and all them guys look at, just look at the quality of the project, hopefully that does it. Yep, it was shot on 16, yeah. like that gives you an idea. Yeah, of it was you know, it came out fine though, no, pal. It came yeah. out fine, and, and and hopefully you can see it soon. It really looks okay. It really does. Quality of the film doesn't look grainy. No, no, no. I, I, I was saying, I'm just saying, like how things are progressing. Now, nothing shot on film. Yeah, yeah. yeah I miss every, film. Every I miss film. Yeah. Everything is digital now. Yeah. You know, I miss film. There's yeah. no and and like. As the film went before, it was always uh, literally shot on film, like oh, 35 yeah, yeah, 16, yeah. and now it's all digital. Yeah. And like, how does that, oh, you know, so as a, I know how it affects on the production side of things, how does that affect you as an actor? To know that I'm going to be it's looking like this, like I'm in HD right now, and they're not going to yeah, stop. Yeah, the HD thing, I think, ever, like, I think, I think in the Hollywood, in the Hollywood, it matters to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. of course it does. I've seen some dirty, grimy interviews on CNN, and like, so this dude has like a big nose, and you can see his open pores and <laughs> shit. And you're just like, do I need to see that? I'm telling you, <laughs> is there a reason? <laughs> but for that's it? A, see, but that's somebody that probably doesn't really, really care as much. You know? Oh you're no, looking no. At, you're looking at actors, you're looking at actresses. You know, these are people that, you know, they portray not really caring about those things, image and maybe. Oh, but they you know, being very kind of regular and average and all these things. But these are people that in the makeup truck, you know. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you know, the makeup truck's two different people. Yeah. On <laughs> set, on set, it's, it's you know you really get to see people. You know, and the real person behind the mask. This set, 
Fall in the Skies is cool because, you know, there's, there's not really it's not really people like that. But I've been on sets where, you know, yeah, act, you know, actors, you know, actors. It's, it's Hollywood. That's the nature of the beast. We, the industry perpetuates that way of thinking. Do you know what I mean? Just look yeah. at look at entertainment, look at fashion, look at look at magazines, and, you know, young girls what they have to look at in magazines and in films and Women have it very difficult in Hollywood having to maintain a certain look, a certain body type, which isn't even realistic. One, which borders unattractive to me, too, because it's just not real. Yeah, there's, there's not there's healthy. stick figures out there. You know, it's not healthy. You know, was, you know, I see a lot of even actresses that I know now that I work with. You know, they they've become far skinnier than they were. If someone was telling me I'm skinnier than I was. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just probably just not noticeable I'm eating, to you. I'm eating a lot better. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and again, you know, have to concern yourself with what people think. But to just give you exactly what I was being told by someone is what I see in actresses that I know. But they have it's very the scrutiny for an actress is yeah. at a far higher level than yeah. any man. Yeah. Uh, it's it's night and day scrutiny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. So because women they have a shelf life almost. Yeah. It's almost unfair, mm -hmm. you know. A man, you know, you act forever. Yeah. You know, just take care of yourself. What do you think about this whole James Dean thing dropping porn to do a movie with Lindsay Lohan? Who's that? James Dean, the porn star. He's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, a, he's a male porn star. I didn't even hear about all that. I, I mean. I, I didn't even hear about all that. It, it's, it's, it's he's doing a real film with Lindsay Yeah, Lohan. he's doing a real Is he film. a good actor? <laughs> because <laughs> no, let's, I, just, yeah. let's just speak on how porn is like the most atrocious <laughs> acting ever in the history of... I swear, <laughs> like, well, no, I swear your 10-year-old, your 10-year-old's right. ten yeah. ten <laughs> elementary play <laughs> has higher cal caliber of thespians than any porn ever did. Wasn't so that why you watch porn? I don't even... Just to speak on a, a porn actor coming in and acting. Right. So I don't, know if, I don't know if it's really his place to be doing that. He should stick to stick to what he's good at. Like, that's a question <laughs> that I, why I would so love to ask. Right? To me, it's, it's not like... She is amazing. She's so cool. That girl's sitting with her leg up the whole time we were doing the thing. Oh, no. And the vagine... Vagine and she had to keep like pulling down like her dress and shit. And I just like looked at Peter and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> that guy. It was that guy. She was really cool though. She was very cool. Red bands. Not um. Job she was very world. cool. Like Ryan Keeley. Like enough respect to Ryan Keeley for sure. Very very nice. She bought me. She bought me like red velvet cake for my birthday. I thought that's that was her really favorite. Cool. <laughs> like like cream puffy thingies that I didn't eat those right to red velvet cake. Nice. Shout out to I would have liked to have, have sex, sex with her too. Uh, <laughs> Maybe another time. You hear that? It was an outstanding offer. We met outstanding. She didn't say let's hang out. So. Oh, so let's, let's hang out. So. I think Red Man's got the luckiest job. Red Man is all. honestly. Cool, cool shit as well because you know, he came in, he came in, he made it real comfortable. You know, we smoked something, we hooked us up, we smoked something real quick. Yeah, that was very cool. Uh, yeah, it was just comfortable, man. It was just very, very like relaxed atmosphere, very friendly atmosphere. Ryan is just cool as shit. Red Band and I were just cracking. You heard the show, man. Yeah, was uh, that was one of my, fa like, my one favorite one. interviews yeah, ever. Man, and, and then that's how I. I that's what introduced me to you, and then I hit you up on Twitter, and I was just like, well, it's, yeah, man. it's a small world, man. What are the odds? What are the odds? Well, I mean, it's, it's not even just the odds, you know, the small world and all that. I don't know if the average, I don't know if the average active person, I don't know, would have even facilitated this. Even no, no. Joshua, you know, so. Um, I think that's why I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule well, to do this for us. Well, I mean, more than you're anything. my biggest interview today. Oh, it's huge stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm honored to be in Brother, <laughs> brother, I very Same much just appreciate <laughs> just really the love, really. You know, because I just know, I just, I, 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 for a young person, I've acted a few years for a young person. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of know what it's like to not, you know, be popping or to not whatever. Mm -hmm. I know that very well, actually. So, I don't even really, you know, 
base whatever's happening as whatever everybody says it is. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, well, this is. I, uh, I just kind of just go along with it. You know, just respectfully, you know, thank people for whatever they say positive. And, and I'm learning to really even denounce reacting to the negative stuff. Because that's I get too fired I up. I get too fired up mm -hmm. sometimes. That's me. And even just letting that go and, and treating that as as a positive is something that I'm learning to do more. Yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's something that nowadays in life there's too many people that can piss you off to let yeah, them and but you allow it. And yeah. So, and so I just mm -hmm. think I just think you gotta put your energy into into yeah. other things into and, something and positive. That's, what, that's, what that's why I started energy. this yeah. podcast. Yeah. You know how it is. You you guys know how it is. Yeah. You no, know, Josh, you, you hustle, man. You work, you know, two fields. You know. Yeah. Now it is. Yeah. Of course, and of course. for those of you who don't know, Josh, aka DXP, yes. does rap and acting, and that is the mo this interview has mostly been about acting so far. Josh, uh, Josh worked on first season, Flawless Guys. Oh, really? Shot in Toronto. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's one of the ways that we reconnected again. I always see him randomly, randomly, around, randomly. but that's the industry though. Like that, you film, you, you yeah. know, music, television, all that. It's all kind of. It's fun. It's, I, it's like, I like Toronto the dynamic yeah. in regards to that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to what you've been doing, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Your turn. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, recently I just got off a show uh, called Paranormal Witness. Uh, shot the second season for that. I heard that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's done really well. Um, I think they've got even gotten picked up for another season uh, next year. Uh, awesome. Who's in there? Uh, well, it's it's actually it's a docudrama, so it's like reenactments of like real people's lives seeing paranormal activity. That's right? my shit. That's yeah. my kind of shit. <laughs> um, That's my kind so of yeah, no, it it's uh, it was a crazy shoot. It was intense. Um, but I met some really good people and, and worked with some really good people, some good friends as well. You know, nice. so it was good. Um, but uh, I've been, I've kind of just been, you know, going from show to show recently, and I'm actually right now I'm happy to kind of be done that show because now I can just kind of focus on music. Yeah, uh, which, which is, is really amazing. what I want to do is just do music every day. Like um, I try and get in the studio at least once a week, just and then. Uh, basically, I kind of have a, a routine going now, where I come in, and G Viner, CC, will give me a beat, yeah, and I'll go and I'll go. Okay, that's the beat, and I'll go, and it'll take me about a week, and I'll write to it, and I'll come in the next, the following, like the next, like seven days later, and I'll record, and then they'll give me the next beat, and I'll go write, and then record, come back, and just keep doing that as much as I can, whether it's a week or two weeks, but I just want to keep just coming in here. I just keep making music. I'm I'm so happy when I'm in this place, when I'm in this studio. P you know, shout out to PHS. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to PHS, yeah. G Vine, C C Yeah, Shots was in here today Shots earlier. Today. Yeah, he was killing it today yeah. earlier. Well I miss it. Yeah. I miss it. Bishop, Bishop, Bishop and I are close, man. I know Bishop. Oh, okay, yeah, it depends on Bishop. Okay, him and Shaq's up there close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shaq's close. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, Shaq's a legend. Shaq's a legend. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shaq, Shaq, like when I just I got first introduced to the studio, it's like, do you know Shaq Clair? I'm like, of course I know Shaq Clair. You yeah. kidding me? It's like my hero. I feel like I feel like, like Shaq like, Clair. I feel like you know those you know those Facebook, like, you know those you know those hits. You know, if if you know if you don't know who this is. But know who this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, you know those? Yeah. I feel like Shox is one of the, if you don't know who this yeah. is in Canada now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he's become that. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you know. Does that make good sense? Yeah. Does that make sense? He's a pioneer. I think he's become of, that. Of Canadian, yeah. You know? Of Canadian hip hop. Straw as well. Straw as well. It's a tight, crazy little story about Straw, actually. I don't know. It's crazy. Most people have like rap connections to Straw, I have like an acting connection to Straw. Mm -hmm. We were nominated same category for Gemini in oh, 2009. Really? And that in itself says a lot. Yeah. It's very cool, in my opinion. So we got to the show, and, you know, just basically I saw him and I beelined to him and went up and we slapped hands and we kind of knew, kind of mm -hmm. knew, kind of what I was saying. And I just, just, you know, saluted him. You know, for for the for the you know the honor that we were bestowed, and we kind of just like let's just savor this. You know, let's just savor this. Let's just 
let's just enjoy this, you know, salute to you, congrats to you, he kind of reciprocated, and that was a cool moment, I thought, mm -hmm. you know, um, I was fortunate to win, and then it was not too long ago, he, he, he hit me up on Twitter, it was the funniest thing ever, what do you say, he goes, he goes, yeah, dude, uh, hope all is well. He goes, but if you ever get nominated for a Gemini man, he's like fall in traffic or something. <laughs> 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 I laugh so hard. Like I laugh so hard. So yeah, he's a good so sport. He's a good sport. Yeah, we were able to have that laugh about it. But I just thought that was a very cool connection to have with someone who pretty much started whatever we know of as rap in, in Canada. 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 You know? uh, hey, shout out to actually, Maestro. Shout out to Maestro. I actually have the connection him also my mom's ex used to work with him at Wimpy's he used to put Wimpy's yeah wow. Jesus yeah Wimpy's yeah that's way that's like way whoa way. whoa I've been Wimpy's hearing, is still open I've been hearing like names of things and meeting people from way back and I've been like you know putting tracks from way back on my iPod Fit buying films from way back. Mm -hmm. I've been on my my. I wouldn't say retro. I'd say the Renaissance is what I would call it. <laughs> I'll call it the Renaissance. The Renaissance. Yeah. No bullshit. No bullshit. Because it, it's it's uh, it, it's it's really it's not regurgitating whatever it was old, but it's I almost feel like we need to get back to it. Well, I still go yeah. to the same place I've been gone for like. 20 years, and that's uh, in Scarborough on Eglinton, mm -hmm. T-Bones. Mm -hmm. You can get, seriously, like a 16-ounce steak for less than $15. Where is somewhere, do I still go somewhere? <laughs> a long time, I'm trying to think. There's a place on Bathurst, just south of DuPont, called Annapurna, or Annapurna. It's this vegetarian restaurant that my mother used to take me to. We used to live right at Bathurst in Davenport. And I pretty much raised there. And my mother used to always take me there. I think I need to go there just to taste the food again. <laughs> oh, just to get a bit of, uh, get, get that memory jolt. You know, that positive, just. I don't think I got a place like that. Though. Yeah, but that's, I was just trying to think. I don't think I really have one. That's yeah. the thing. Because yeah. I, I, I wouldn't say I moved around, around, but. I lived on the Danforth for most of my Weird. life. So I, yeah. any, like, I know things few change little spots. Over things change. Yeah. Like that, you know, no matter some what. Some things change. On the Danforth, for some reason, there's. There's, like, for instance, there's been Seb's Cafe. That place has been there for 30 years. Wow. 30 years. And they still have the same people wow. going there every day. The old men wake up, go there, <laughs> have their espresso, <laughs> go home. You know what kids up? You know what I miss? There. I miss Churrasco or St. Clair. St. Clair. Portuguese what? chicken. I used to mess with that a lot. <laughs> My doctor's office used to be right there, right about yeah. Christie, yeah. Christie and St. Clair, okay, yeah, yeah. and the Churrasco spot right there. I used to go to a lot. My mother used to always. See, that's the thing. You go to the doctor's office probably whatever, however, maybe, however often, yeah, yeah. and you know, you Twice know, you look year, forward maybe, to a yeah, treat. Yeah. Mom would always hook you up with something. Whenever you'd have something to go to, so whenever my mom would hook you up with something, so you always kind of look forward to set dates on the calendar. You get hooked up with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of like that because you knew he was only gonna get it how many times <laughs> on this shit. So <laughs> you just start counting them. I like that. Though. You're like, all right, <laughs> only two more months. <laughs> <laughs> so I like good that. times. So. Good times. I even got Columbo's pizza. I used to eat there on days uh, during school. I'd go there for lunch, and it's still there. So they're owned by different them. people now, but the people who originally own it still work there in the back. You know what's cool? Like Schwartz's in Montreal, still like same spot it's been. That's like a spot right there. See, I probably have I probably have more connection to Schwartz's going to Schwartz's, you know, <laughs> Barbie Bar in Montreal than I do any place here. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Speaking of that, yeah. now. No, I'll try to do the smoke weed thing after. We'll definitely get some brown after. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for sure. Sounds, Sounds for sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. And I will participate in the smoking and <laughs> something else. <laughs> Just I got a triple chocolate biscuit for you. Uh, I think I might stay away from the cookie, man. That comatose is pretty good. 
Jay Davis, Jay Davis is my bro. He, he doesn't smoke, but he messes with the brownies and the cookies. <laughs> yeah. he, always, he always messes with those. He tells me how I mess him up. So, yeah. and that could be comfortable. That's like hash buzz, like super hash, like comatose your body buzz. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Different buzz. So I just stick to like smoking the bomb. Yeah. That's 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 fun night right there. Smoke with a bone. Oh yeah. <laughs> that shit rattles your brain. Oh yeah. That shit go rattles down. your brain. <laughs> Smoke a bone up. Watch like conspiracy something. Watch like someone. <laughs> watch someone like the Anunnaki or something. Get some Alex Jones. Watch, no, not Alex Jones. I really, I'll be honest with you. I don't really fuck with Alex Jones. Um, I tell you what, I fuck with. Um, I really. What's what's my man? What's my man's name? George. George. What? What's his name? George something. Jim Mars is who I, I like. Jim Mars. Jason Martell, and and I and, and I mess with people. Not necessarily what your background is educationally, not necessarily. It, it, it's more so how you deliver the information to me. When you say it's, I have to like one the way you, the way you kind of put it together. Not necessarily to hear what I want to hear, but certain people I just don't like the way certain people approach things. I just don't like the way certain people approach the the delivery of information, especially information that you could argue isn't really justified and you can't really prove. Yeah. Like, you like, understand? Like, like Mike, uh, what's his name, Mike, uh, Fahrenheit 9-11, all those. those more, see, 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 no, 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 see, no, no, see the thing with more is more, the thing with more is more, the thing with yeah. more is, more is, don't even question what he says. I'm not even saying that. I'm more talking about, I look at this individual who literally symbolizes whatever that country is fighting right now, mm -hmm. obesity. Yeah. Just look at it. Yeah. You look at him. He, he, he's, he's a spitting image of the problems of that country. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. He's, he's maybe projecting a good image. Or, sorry, a good message. Good sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I respect that at the end of the day because within a country that really enslaves its people at a, at like a, at a subconscious yeah. level because yeah. the average person doesn't really, average American doesn't realize how enslaved they are and how messed up their country really is and they really don't care and it's so bad how messed up the states is. I'm talking all the way to the Federal Reserve, like that type of stuff. Well, wow, people think the Federal Reserve is the Reserve. part of the government. It's, it's not. not. And then they print, it's just a joke. It costs them how much to print the print the paper, to, to spend on the paper to print the however many billion dollar is it right however much money it costs for the paper but then they charge the government for the the, the, the sum of money that they claim that it's worth mm -hmm. you get it so we're printing 13 billion but it costs how much to make the paper in billion do you, do you get it it's ridiculous it's, it's literally the cost of the paper is is nothing compared to it's like maybe it's a hundred million for the paper to, to print 13 billion, yeah, yeah, but they yeah. charge the government for 13 billion. Yeah. Well, that, that's a great country. That, every dollar that the Fed already prints <laughs> has a dollar debt on it to begin with. Dude, it's a joke. They shot Lincoln in the back of the head, <laughs> right? They shot JF Kennedy. Those are the only two guys. That, are, those are the two presidents that printed their own money. So, so this the Federal Reserve. And Lincoln printed money. the green back, yeah. right? Mm. It's money printed for the people, right? It's By not owed. You yeah. don't owe that money to anybody when you print that. It's the government printing that money through his own treasury department. Yeah. Right? Mm. That was after JFK that was did the same before. thing. Those two guys got shot in the back. It's such a joke, man. The banks run shit. People who don't know that anymore, right. I don't want to mess with them. <laughs> Stay away from me. Yeah. Stay away from me. Uh, I just can't mess with like zombie fools. You don't have to believe in conspiracy. You don't have to believe no, in anything. Just know conspiracy. how you are being screwed. At, at least. At bare minimum. No. Know how you are being screwed. And you still think your nation is the baddest, coolest nation in the world. This is good. Yeah, America. Yeah, they don't so care. bad, man. They don't uh, dude, not that. dude, being yeah. in LA, being in LA, we went to this pot, we went to this, um, Italian restaurant ordered this pasta dish individual portion and then they have a gargantuan portion right? mm. individual portion I ate over two days so I ate <laughs> half of the portion there <laughs> and then the next day I ate legitly a full plate 
One portion in Canada would have been half of the individual taken in, and they sold a gargantuan. Yeah. We did the same thing. We just got. Who are you trying to kill? It was the same. Stuff. <laughs> Who are you trying to kill? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, no. I, I was of, concerned. Speaking of yeah. killing people, here's a good segue. Uh, how was it working on Saw? Well, <laughs> that's a crazy segue. Saw is like, I think Saw is like one of the few times where I get to, you know, maybe geek out a bit. You know, and, and really be, I love really be a movies. nerd because I'm a, I'm a, I'm quite, quite a big fan of the franchise. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And that's something that st I still forget sometimes that I was in that. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I can't explain it to you other than that. I really kind of go about my life when I'm not on set and I'm not in stuff. So, you know, you kind of sit back and you remember sometimes that, you know, it's, uh, I get to do some pretty righteous stuff. So getting to be in that movie, yeah. it's like five days on set in that, and that was just nuts. It's like five days of being in that machine, oh, and damn, which is just up the road from right. there, actually, where you shot it. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Yeah. That's probably some of the most fun I ever had. Yeah, it's been. You know, the movie. average person, you know, I can totally understand how cumbersome it would be to be in that machine. I wouldn't say tedious because you're an actor. You enjoy it. It is cumbersome at times, but it's very much something you forget. It's very much something that I think you lose sight of because of the enjoyment factor of, of getting to portray something like that. And just knowing what you're a part of, you know, and being close to Tobin. Tobin was very cool, very nice. Yeah. Um, Shawnee and I are, are cool. She's, that's like my homegirl. Um, wow. Um, Angus was a weirdo. <laughs> Angus was a straight up weirdo. There was a, there was a section, there was a time where we had to do these pickup shots. And... I was, what they did was they put a prosthetic on the front of my face, which is the back of my head. So it's, it's when my neck was twisting, yeah. kind of in the last stages of it, right? So it was a pickup shot. They needed to do that shot to kind of show my head twist and him finally giving in and helping me. Because remember at first he doesn't want to help me. Yeah. So he comes in. And so, you know, we start doing it. And it, out of nowhere, he just like stops and flips. He's just like, the fuck are we doing? There's no fucking emotion. There's no, there's no fucking emotion. And here I am, strapped into this thing, prosthetic on the front of my shit. So there's only two holes and shit, right? So, I, and this guy sitting here having a conniption about his own little bitch ass little problem. And I'm in the machine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wow. See, so you know the joke. You know the joke. One of the jokes is he's a brilliant actor, Angus McFoyden. He's in, you know, recent, you know, you probably know from Equilibrium with Christian Bale. He was like the bad guy in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Braveheart, I think he was in as well. Um, great actor, brilliant actor, but he really bitch, you know, in that moment. And I, I, I don't respect that. No, uh, man, look, can't come on, that. man. I'm in the machine and the thing and the thing and the thing. So the director, Darren, had to go kind of literally like put his arm around him and give him like this pep talk, like walk. You see him like giving him the pep talk yeah. after. Hey man, what's wrong? Hey man, what's wrong? It's, it's okay, man. You're the best, man. You're the best. You're the best. Yeah. That's one of those talks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen a couple of those over the years now. Mm. Why? Outside of that, the best experience working on Saw. V. It's just, it's just such a, a cool experience. It's cool. Like I, I as a, as a, as a fan, I get to like. To kind of sit there and just kind of be like all in all of it. It's very mm -hmm. cool to get the prosthetics put on you, get to be, you know, do all that. And, uh, and you get to really, I get to portray one of those scenes in in in, 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 in a franchise that I love. That's cool. Yeah. That yeah, that's 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 another one of those things that really sticks with me. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, really cool. it's very, yeah. And, it, and then the flashback it was so cool. It called me up to do a flashback in six. It's, it's really just brief, but, you know, to come in and get a full day's pay to do, you know, a couple hours work, and I got to see everybody again. I got to see Tobin, and Tobin was so, was so kind. You know, it's such kind words for me when I saw him. He's, you know, he just said I, he thought I did great work in three, and, and I thought that was very cool of him, and he's very nice, very nice man. Shiny, big, big hug when I saw her. Um, who else, man? Who else? Is Mark Bird. Bird was there. Being in person? No, he's um, 
He's a, he's very quiet. Very, so that's what he seems like. Very he's nice. Very, very polite man. man. Person. Very polite man. Very yeah. polite man. Very good at what he does. But he's brilliant. got that creeper look about. You know him. what? You know what? Everybody's so in, into that man. He has so much work before before the Saw movies. Yeah, he's people good, forget he's how much stuff he's been yeah. in. His Seinfeld couple of Seinfeld episodes that he did. Yeah, but really? they were even creeper. Like, he was a he, creeper. What was he, like the video store guy yeah. or something? Is that what he was? Uh, he was like some... The no, video no, store no, guy? No, no, He no. was the, the clown. I think... But there's I, another one. He worked office. somewhere. Where did he work? He was... It could have been the, could have been the video store. But something. I remember he played he worked like in an office clown so. opera. And he didn't even have white hair when he was Seinfeld episode. No, no. He had, he, had, he had like brown hair or something. It was oh, trippy, man. Yeah, it's Seeing him like that, I was like, wow. And then you see him on set. Well, because he's always in the, in the outfit oh, yeah. on set. So that could totally contribute to however you perceive him, you yeah. know? Cause you're, you, and he's always very, you know, kind of, go ahead and stop it. It's not like he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he doesn't really do it like that. <laughs> you know, it's, if you, now that I think about it, it's just like, <laughs> I'm not scared right now. No, it's, it's not. If you know, you know what it gets. It gets really interesting when you see these type of guys, and you see them in so much other stuff outside of whatever you work with them on, whatever you know them for. Yeah, but you kind of know them now. So you get to see them. So you totally stop and you watch their work. Yeah. You really have a newfound respect for them. Absolutely. You know, for that work. And what they do. I know exactly. That's what you're fucking right. Yeah. When you meet someone on set and you, well, hey, when I meet, I see you on yeah. set, and I know, and I actually know you in person. I see you work. See, but that that mm -hmm. that I'm learning more about now. Objectively, just objectively, I can kind of look at everything and, and see all these perspectives of everything now. There's so many perspectives. It's not not one is any greater than the other, but everything is seen very differently. Yeah, yeah. and this Hollywood thing that I'm in now, this microscope is getting interesting. It's like some, some publicist just came at me actually the other day. Oh really? Yeah. It's, um, actually, a friend of mine who's an actress, his it's his wife, and she actually has a much bigger situation going on than I actually would have ever given her credit for. Actually did some nice. research. I looked at the website and everything. She has actually has a lot of really up and coming mm -hmm. actors, talents, like, and they're all doing something. And I was very shocked and, and pleasantly surprised at the same time. So mm -hmm. I really kind of opened my eyes. So I was really considered it for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I'm all about environment. I'm all about <clears throat> I need a specific type of relationship with a person. You know, if you're gonna work closely to me, yeah. We can't not be cool. We can't not be close. We can't not be able to rock. We can't not be able to talk and things like that. So yeah, she's going to represent sure. me. Yeah. So I think it, I, it, I think it would be a good situation totally. because I, I know her already. already. I've met her already, hanging out with my, my, my boy, and, and, and I know of her already. So that's already there. You know, yeah. not knowing someone can hinder a lot of things. Oh yeah. You know, sure. so yeah, it could be interesting. I'm, I'm very much going to have a publicist very soon. I just don't know when. Yeah. Looks like he pretty much yeah. take care of himself, but only fight the balance too much. Well, I'm, yeah, like I, I was saying, like, I'm, I'm kind of in the, this process right now. Like I'm releasing an album. Yeah, is that what I was just gonna say? Is yeah, there, you yeah. got anything big to promote yeah. right now? Well, yeah, well, yeah. No, I'm, I'm releasing an album. Um, like my first album coming out of here, uh, out of PHS Entertainment. So I'm really excited about that. I think everyone's gonna. One's a really projected date. Uh, uh, any rumors? Sometime in sometime in August. So in a month, you know, in a month we release an album and a new music video that I shot uh, a couple months ago, and we released that in August. So, um, but it's all about like how. I mean, we were talking about this earlier though. Like, how do I go from being who I am now to being the next level? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, um, how far do you let talent take you, and mm -hmm. you know, how far do you have to get push. up there and really yes. push it? Yeah. And. I think that like if people just hear the music and ju and just listen, you know they'll get it. Oh, you know, no one's no one, I don't I don't think anyone's gonna listen to my music and be like, oh, I don't I don't get it. You know, I don't, no, I don't understand. No, what, like, what, get what's his point? Sure. I, they're gonna, they're gonna listen to it and go, oh, okay. It's music. Yeah, it's music. yeah. Let let's let's have a good time. Let's party. Let's enjoy our lives. Like we work our asses off every day so that we can party, so we can enjoy life. Oh yeah. Uh, life For is sure. good. You know, the album is called Life Is Good because I really. Love I like that. life. I like that. <laughs> I love life. I love living, and I love what I do. And 
I feel that like especially in this in the studio I feel that that's just infectious everywhere like, oh, everyone's yeah. like that oh, yeah. love living love what we do and just putting those those good vibes out that's what I want the music to do I want you know it's cosmic out of this world that's the but whole it, thing you know, here it's all cosmic yeah, even so, Oli yeah. like Oli is yeah. my best friend and he's yeah. uh, Oli, Oli just, dropped he yeah. just dropped an album too he just dropped an album on uh, Friday I was gonna try and get you tickets to it but we we weren't syncing up then because uh, that's when we were like, well, maybe we'll do the show on the third, and then we got pushed back. But we ended up now that we actually got linked up. I'm uh, I'd be more than happy to have you on anytime you want. Anytime you got something to like promote, hit me up. Hit him up. We'll, yeah. we'll throw together a quick little podcast. Yeah, be cool. And anytime, man. Do you have anything big coming up? Just um, you know, third season. All this guys got picked up. Yeah. So. Do, you, do you know what state? Uh, what what? Uh, um, it's on in Canada. Canada airs on Super Channel right Super now. Super Channel right Second now. Second season should be on Super Channel right now. I think on Wednesday. I think on Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm not sure. I think it's Wednesday. You I know the time slot. Wednesday, it's like 10, I think it is. I don't know why it's so. Falling late. Skies, Wednesday at 10, yeah, Super Channel. 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 Falling Skies. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, 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 Jesus Christ, I'm useless. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Usually, <laughs> things I know. Uh, yeah. Usually, there's things I know. I want to attribute it to my excessive consumption of marijuana, but. <laughs> hey, no, don't blame the marijuana because so, I, I just forget. Because, because honestly, I'm very sharp. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll, we'll Google Falling Skies. You know, yeah, for sure. All right, everybody. That is it for the yeah. third, fourth episode yeah. of Spitballing with yeah. JT. Yeah. We have DXP, we have Umpo, and that is it. Peace out, people.